Welcome to the Copenhagen Learning Designs podcast, where we explore the fascinating world of cross-cultural competency, inclusion and diversity, onboarding, work processes, education and learning design. Join us as we discuss and dissect these topics, offering insights and inspiration to create truly transformative learning experiences. In this episode, how to foster a culture of belonging and respect for all employees. In today's globalized and interconnected world, diversity and inclusion have become essential components of a successful workplace. Embracing diversity means recognizing and valuing the unique backgrounds, perspectives and experiences that each individual brings to the table. Inclusion, on the other hand, involves creating an environment where everyone feels welcomed, respected and valued, regardless of their differences. When organizations prioritize diversity and inclusion, they reap numerous benefits. Benefits of creating an inclusive work environment. An inclusive work environment fosters innovation and creativity. When employees feel comfortable sharing their diverse perspectives, ideas flow freely, leading to more innovative solutions and better decision making. Additionally, diversity and inclusion enhance employee engagement and productivity. When individuals feel valued and included, they are more likely to be motivated and committed to their work, resulting in higher performance levels and increased productivity. Moreover, an inclusive work environment promotes better problem-solving and decision-making. Different perspectives and experiences provide a broader range of ideas and insights, enabling teams to identify creative solutions and make well-informed decisions. Furthermore, diversity and inclusion improve customer relations and satisfaction. Customers want to engage with organizations that understand and respect their diverse needs and preferences. By fostering a culture of inclusion, companies can better serve their diverse customer base. Understanding the difference between diversity and inclusion. Although often used interchangeably, diversity and inclusion are distinct concepts. Diversity refers to the representation of different demographic groups within an organization such as race, gender, age and ethnicity. Inclusion, on the other hand, focuses on creating an environment where everyone feels valued, respected and included, regardless of their differences. While diversity is about numbers and representation, inclusion is about creating a sense of belonging and ensuring that all individuals have equal opportunities to thrive. Creating a culture of belonging and respect. To foster a culture of belonging and respect, organizations must take intentional steps to create an inclusive work environment. It starts with leadership commitment and active involvement. Leaders must set the tone by championing diversity and inclusion, both in their actions and words. They should promote open communication, encourage diverse perspectives, and ensure that everyone's voice is heard and valued. Organizations should also establish clear policies and practices that promote diversity and inclusion. This includes implementing inclusive hiring practices, providing training and education on diversity and inclusion, addressing unconscious bias, and measuring progress towards an inclusive work environment. By creating a comprehensive framework, companies can embed diversity and inclusion into their organizational culture. Steps to foster a culture of inclusion in the workplace. Implementing inclusive hiring practices. Organizations should adopt inclusive hiring practices that aim to attract and retain diverse talent. This may involve using diverse job boards, ensuring diverse interview panels, and mitigating biases during the selection process. Training and education for promoting diversity and inclusion. Providing training and education to employees on diversity and inclusion is crucial. This helps raise awareness, challenge biases, and develop inclusive behaviors. Training programs can cover topics such as unconscious bias, cultural competence, and allyship. Recognizing and addressing unconscious bias. Unconscious biases are deeply ingrained stereotypes or prejudices that affect our actions and decisions without our conscious awareness. Organizations should invest in unconscious bias training and create a culture where biases are acknowledged and addressed, measuring and monitoring progress towards an inclusive work environment. To ensure continuous improvement, organizations should regularly measure and monitor their progress towards creating an inclusive work environment.
This can be done through employee surveys, focus groups and diversity metrics. The data collected can help identify areas for improvement and guide future initiatives. Conclusion Building A culture of belonging and respect is not a one-time effort, but an ongoing commitment. It requires organisations to embrace diversity, foster inclusion and continuously work towards creating an environment where every employee feels valued, respected and empowered. By following the steps outlined in this article, organisations can pave the way for a truly inclusive workplace where diversity is celebrated and everyone has an equal opportunity to thrive. Thank you for joining us on the Copenhagen Learning Designs podcast. To continue your learning journey, we invite you to explore our wide range of educational resources available. From e-books on inclusion and diversity, onboarding and workplace dynamics to leadership and entrepreneurship. There's something for everyone. Take action now and unlock the power of knowledge by searching for Copenhagen Learning Design on Amazon.com. Don't miss out on the opportunity to enhance your skills and drive personal and professional success.